Hello, I'm Mr. Tom. I'm a songwriter and composer under BMI Incorporated. I've been playing, writing, and recording music since 1984. Today we have a new Aklot tremolo harmonica. What is a tremolo harmonica? Well, it's a little bit different than standard 10-hole diatonic harmonica. Uh, this tremolo harmonica has 24 holes in the top and 24 holes in the bottom, making an overall total of 48 holes altogether. Uh, the harmonica also has uh, steel covers and an ABS pl plastic comb and comes with a nice sturdy hard case um, that has a uh, nice velvet material on the outside and the inside um, and it's very nice indeed and it has a uh, cleaning cloth as well as in, on the inside of the case um, really nice sturdy case um, really nice touch now the treble harmonicas um, why they're different than a diatonic 10 hole harmonica is they have two sets of brass metal plates on the inside and there's small pieces of metal attached to those plates called reeds. Now when you blow air uh, uh, into the holes or draw air from the holes that air passes over the metal uh, reeds and they vibrate. Now the reeds are also actually tuned at the factory by engineers. They actually take a little bit of metal uh, and make the reeds thinner and basically they're to, they tune, that's how they tune each reed to the pitch or to the note basically of each hole which is kind of interesting um, now the reason why they call it a tremolo harmonica is because the reeds are a little bit off uh, centered to one of uh, each other so they actually have a vibrate when you when the air passes through them so when you play a chord they actually tremolos or waves a little bit uh, let's try it out here see if I can uh, get the desired effect here on chords which should be relatively easy Now, if you heard that, it sounds like it's a slight wavering effect. If I do that, but I only use the one single holes, a chord sounds like this. You can hear how if I play the single notes versus the both um, single holes rather than the double holes, you can hear that there's no wavering sound when I go compared to just slightly wavers. It's pretty awesome. And that's the difference right there. Now, the other thing to note is this one here is in the key of C and sometimes harmonicas will be actually you can see on the either the end or in the very beginning of the harmonica now this one is in the key of C and the notes start at the lowest uh, the lowest position right here now cross harp or in second position um, in basically a, a key of C harmonica is basically here and you start playing into the key of G now as a tip um, you have to really worry about that at the moment, but as a tip, look up a harmonica positioning chart on Google and you'll understand more on harmonica keys and the positions of the harmonica. Um, it will help you when you move forward uh, with playing the harmonica. Uh, there's some songs that you can play in this in the, with this harmonica in C, and then there's other songs that you can play in basically the key of G, which is more towards the middle, second position, cross harp. Just a little tip. Um, I, taken a long time looking and playing uh, at this harmonica. Uh, there is no air leaks whatsoever. Uh, the reeds are, um, are are really totally fine. I've looked at the top and the bottom and everything to me uh, looks like a quality built uh, with this harmonica. Um, the harmonica 
like going way back, it was originally made in Germany around the 1800s. Um, and it's used more in gospel and folk music, and sometimes you even hear in classical music. Now, there's another tip, and, I, and I'll always tell people this, um, because there's a misconception out there uh, among harmonica players. You can play blues music with these tremolo harmonicas. Um, the, what you have to do is you basically rotate the harmonica down or up to focus on the single row, row of holes, not the double row of holes. Um, so if you play and you draw in or out, you can actually bend the reeds that's prevalent in blues music as such. Now, you could hear that, and sometimes you can hear a little, little squeak, because I tend to, when I'm drawing in, I tend to really bend the reason you could hear a little tiny squeak, higher frequency squeal, and that was me, apologize for that, but um, that's just, that's what, how I deep I get into it when I start playing blues music. Um, but you can hear, I can bend the reeds, no problems. It just basically, you have to rotate it down and concentrate on the lower row of holes, or rotate it up and concentrate on the uh, top uh, higher a row of single holes um, but you can play blues music so if anybody tells you you can't say well you know what Mr. Tom says I can so there you go with that um, and basically um, the other thing I'd like to say is I'll, you'll hear a lot of these guys that make um, videos of harmonicas they say oh stay away from inexpensive harmonicas <clears throat> excuse me they're not good they're not this they're not that well, there actually are a lot of great inexpensive harmonicas out there. You don't have to play, pay an arm and a leg to get a really good quality instrument. And this is a solid build quality. This is a solid build, uh, so, solid quality build. And I, I definitely recommend this one. Uh, everything about it, again, um, opening it up, looking at it, um, it, it's just all the notes. I even basically checked out all the notes to make sure that they're in pitch, proper pitch and they are so uh, that's my overview on the Acklot tremolo harmonica again my name is mr tom i hope you have a great day or night stay safe out there take care